everyone and welcome to product overview. I'm Christine Shaw and I'm in charge of the internship program for our members here at ASI. I've been with ASI for four years, but before that, uh, for nine years, I was in event marketing. So I've been around promo products at events for a long time. I like to go around and see what all the different booths had. Uh, and I got to see some really cool stuff. And I really wanted to have this training because I feel like the product uh, promo, sorry, promo products 101 training, uh, it really goes over the products very quickly and just gives you a general category. So I really wanted to go a little bit more in depth with you. Uh, so let's start out with why is this important? Uh, well, it's not as simple as it seems. Let's say you have a client or your boss comes to you and asks you to send some pictures of a mug or send out an email with mug pictures. Well, you might think of this and you might pull a hundred beautiful mug pictures like that. But maybe your client or your boss meant something like this. Now, I would have called that a travel mug, but they're both mugs, so you never know. So the goal of this training is to give you an idea of what products are out there to help you really ask the right questions and find the right products. Now I'm gonna go through them fast, but don't worry. Uh, there will be time for questions at the end. And also this recording will be available on the intern portal. So if you miss something, you can go back and you can pause or you can ask me a question about it at the end. So we're gonna start out with drinkware. Uh, and first is water bottles. Now, again, that seems pretty simple, but if you look at just these three pictures of water bottles that I pulled out of ESP, you can see they have totally different tops. The first one is a pull top, the second one's a screw top, the third one's a straw. They're also made out of completely different materials. So there's plastic and there's metal. So these are the kind of things you wanna start to think about and you wanna start to ask when you're asked to just pull water bottle pictures. Next, we have drinking glasses. So first of all, you wanna figure out the size of the glass because a shot glass is a drinking glass just like a pint glass is and a mason jar glass is. So you'll wanna ask a few more questions about the size uh, and what the product's gonna be used for. So if it's for a country wedding, then you might want the mason jar glass. Um, if it's for people to display, you might want the pint glass. So these are an idea of all the different drinking glasses that we have. Also wine glasses. Again, I think most people would think of the wine glass with the big long stem, but we don't have just that anymore now. We have stemless wine glasses as well. Uh, and we don't just have glass wine glasses, we have the more Yeti style, which is the metal. Tumblers is one of the most frustrating words in the promo products industry because it means two totally different things. Uh, the one glass with the straw, the plastic glass with the straw is called a tumbler, just like a travel coffee mug is called a tumbler. So if your client comes to you and says they want a tumbler, you definitely wanna ask more questions on that one. Lastly, I just put some cups here because they're a little bit different with the lid and the straw. You might wanna know, are these cups going to a younger audience that might want the lid and the straw like kids or are they going to a more adult audience that might not need a lid and straw. So again, those are just some questions that you can ask. All right, next we're gonna talk about drinkware accessories. So first of all, we have the koozie slash can cooler. Now, if you don't know the difference, koozie is a name brand. So it's kind of like all, all can coolers aren't koozies, but all koozies are can coolers. So think of like Kleenex or something that is a name brand, but it's kind of used to mean tissue all the time. So that's the same thing with a koozie. But you can see here, we have a foam one or a metal one. So again, you might wanna ask questions. What does your client wanna spend? What are they looking to use it for? How durable do they want it to be? Next, we have the beverage holder, or it's sometimes called a coffee sleeve. Uh, this can be paper like the one in this picture, or it could be foam, kind of like the koozie is. So you have some different options here and you wanna know, is it gonna be on a cup that's gonna be thrown away? Cause then you probably want paper or is it gonna be on a cup that's gonna be kept? Cause then you want something like foam. 
Next is openers. Uh, an important question you wanna ask is what kind of drinks are they trying to open? Because the corkscrew uh, for a wine bottle is gonna be a lot different than a bottle opener. Finally, we have coasters, uh, and these can be made out of so many materials, plastic, paper, cork, uh, and they can also have little extras on there. Like you can see the one has a bottle opener built in. I've seen ones that light up. So if someone's asking you for a coaster, these are some suggestions that you can give them. All right, next is bags. First, we have backpacks, uh, and the black one is something you might have carried to school. Uh, but we also now have these drawstring backpacks, like the greenish one. So you're going to want to ask, do they want a real sturdy backpack or do they want a drawstring backpack? The drawstring ones are lighter. They are usually made of canvas or cork or cloth, whereas the, the bigger backpack, it's going to be expensive, but it's going to be more durable. Next is tote bags. This picture here is a beach tote bag. But there are smaller tote bags that can be used as purses and things like that. So you may want to ask if, if they want it to be more of a purse that people carry on every day or if they want it to be more of a beach bag that people take on special occasions. Next is pouches. Again, you're going to want to ask what they want to hold in them because something smaller like a phone or earbuds is going to require a, fall, a smaller pouch, first of all, but also maybe a zipper in the front like this gray one or if you want a toiletry bag, you might want the zipper to go all the way around. So these are some things to ask if someone just asks you for a pouch. Cooler bags are another thing you'll want to ask what they want to carry. The smaller one you can see is good for lunch. People take it every day. But the bigger one might be for a picnic or to take a six pack to a game. So you really want to ask again, what do you want your and buyer, here are your clients to be able to hold in these bags. Lastly, we have disposable bags, which if you've ever bought something and been given a paper or plastic bag, those are promo products, uh, which you might not have thought about. But again, ask your client, you know, do you want a bag that's reusable? Because then maybe a brown bag is better, or do you want to be more eco-friendly? Maybe their brand's really eco-friendly, then again, the paper would be good. Next is writing instruments, and this might be our most straightforward category. Uh, you have your pencils, which again, you have some choices because there's mechanical and there's regular. And you have pens, which have, can have a click top or can have a top that you remove. Uh, so again, you have some choices here. Um, next, I have the stylus. If you don't know what a stylus is, it's used to uh, like touch things on your phone or a touchpad. And what makes this a stylus is the gray ball kind of at the end of it. So you'll want to look out for that if your client wants a stylus that's not a pen, not just a pen. But also, they can be used on more than pens. Uh, you got the one in your welcome bag that was to go on a credit card. So it doesn't just have to be a pen, a stylus. Uh, next, we'll look at desk and office accessories. And nowadays, you want to think more of a home office than an office that people go to since they're not doing that as much anymore. So here we have a notebook and a journal. Uh, the one, the purple one, is more of a notebook because it's spiral bound, and the red one's more of a journal because it's hard bound. We also have pad folio. This is a similar or writing. It's usually made out of leather though and it opens up and it usually has a writing pad on it. Next we have stress relievers. These come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. If you can think of an item, it's probably been made into a stress reliever. The reason that I put these two up is because the one red one is more the cloth kind that probably has beans inside of it and the football one is more of a foam kind. We also have desk toys, one of my favorites. This one that I put up is a little basketball hoop, but they have desktop tic-tac-toe. They have mazes where you take the little metal balls. So there's a ton of desk toys out there. Next is office supplies. Uh, here I put pictures of post-it notes and post-it note flags. Those are probably one of the more common ones, uh, as well as some little notepads in different shapes and sizes. But there are also tons of other office supplies. 
there's memo cubes, there's uh, white out. If you can use it in your office, you can probably get a logo on it. Lastly, I have a little desk organizer here. Uh, this one's made out of leather. It's pretty nice, but they're all different kinds of desk organizers. So it's all up to how much you want to fit in there. Some have the places for the pens and pencils. Some have the places for the phones. Some have, you know, more pockets to store notes and than others. So you'll want to be asking your clients exactly what they want in a desk organizer. All right, next is tech. Uh, first thing is flash drives. These also come in every shape and size. They also hold more or less data. So they're one gig flash drive versus the two gig flash drive. Sometimes the person will want files loaded on them. Sometimes they won't. So there's a lot of options here as well. Next is the wireless speaker. And this, the main thing to ask here is how they'll be using it because some wireless speakers are waterproof and others aren't. So if it's going to go in a kitchen or by a pool or near a shower, you're going to want the waterproof one. Next is computer accessories, which encompasses so many things. Here I have a little USB light, a mouse pad, and a webcam cover. But there are tons of other things. There are USB fans. There are ring lights that clip to the top of laptops. There's so many categories that fall into this computer accessories category. Next is laptop sleeve slash case. And the difference is that gray one is what we call laptop sleeve. It doesn't have handles or uh, the strap to put on your shoulder. Whereas the black one has both those things. So it would be more of a laptop case. Next is earbuds. Uh, we have wired or wireless here. Uh, this pair is wired. And the only thing you want to be careful with um, with wired is a lot of the old ones have the pointed metal jack. Uh, so you'll want to know if your client is looking for that or if they're looking for more of a USB one. So a lot of the pointed metal jacks would go in like a laptop, but the USB would go in like a phone. All right, more tech. Speaking of phones, we're going to do phone accessories. So this is the pop socket or the ring. They both have similar uh, functions there so you can hold them more easily and to become a stand. Next, we have the phone wallet. Uh, if you didn't know what these are called, that's the uh, promo product name. These have so many options. They can have one pocket, two pockets. Some of them open up that I've seen. Uh, some of them like the blue one have a little fold out stand that you can use. So there are really a lot of options with those. All right, and next we have, sorry, I can't see, it's blocking me. Phone stand! Oh, did it go back? Sorry, everyone, technical difficulties. Okay, uh, so this can be part of something else like it was with the desk organizer, or it could be on its own, like in this example. All right, next we have a phone case. Uh, this is a waterproof one. I've never seen uh, regular phone cases as promo products, but it doesn't mean that they can't be. Uh, but I thought this waterproof one was cool if someone's looking for something for an outdoorsy client. We also have tons of charging options, starting with the power bank. Again, here they can be any size, any color, uh, but they can be uh, the bigger ones. Usually can you can charge for longer without having to plug them in. So you'll want to ask your client what they want and how long they want it to be used for. The six in one charging cable, this one is really cool if they don't know what their clients are going to want to charge because this has sizes for everything. Lastly, the wireless charger. Uh, and these are, you know, in all different shapes and sizes. This one's round, but there are some where your phone can stand up. So you'll just want to ask what the format they're looking for. All right, now we're going to move on to apparel, which is a huge category. Uh, so I'm going to do an overview of it the best that I can. First, we're going to talk about shirts. Uh, we have a t-shirt as that first blue one. Then we have what's usually called more of like a baseball shirt. Then next to that, the all black one is a polo. And the yellow one is more of like a sport shirt, a performance shirt. Uh, these come in all different shapes, sizes, uh, colors. Also, the logo placement is another thing you can think about. In that yellow one, it takes up the whole shirt. The design takes up the whole shirt. 
Um, on the polo, it's usually up at the chest. Uh, in a t-shirt or a baseball shirt, it's usually more in the middle. So if you have a client that wants to order shirts, uh, you need to figure out short sleeves, long sleeves, fabric, uh, color, where they want the logo. So there's a lot of questions to ask with that. Next is jackets. And this one is more of a heavyweight jacket but we do uh, have lightweight jackets in the promo products industry too, more of like a windbreaker or like a rain jacket. Vests, now when I uh, searched vests in ESP, I only expected the left black one to come up, but the yellow one is a safety vest, uh, and we also do safe, a lot of safety products in the promotional products industry. So that's something you'll wanna think about if someone's asking you for a vest. All right, so some more apparel. Next, we have the classic hoodie. Um, it could be heavyweight like this, or I've seen lightweight hoodies that are almost a t-shirt material. Uh, and you can see this one has a zipper, uh, but they might not want that. They, some have full zips, some have half zips, some you just pull over your head. So those are all questions that you're gonna wanna ask. Next is hats. Um, the red one, if you were looking for something like that, you would probably wanna search cap. Uh, if you were looking for something like the middle one, you would probably wanna search beanie. Uh, and then the last one are hard hats. If you just search hats in ESP, all three of these will come up. So that's how I got them. I just searched hats and I saw it came up. But if you want just one, you could be a little more specific. Next is aprons. Uh, and this is something I wouldn't think of a promo product as well, but if you think about it, when you go to Starbucks, your barista has an apron promoting Starbucks. That's a promotional product. So these can be used at home, but they're more often used by companies. Next is sweatbands. And this one is a wristband, but they do have sweat headbands that are promo products as well. Next are socks. Uh, and this is more of an ankle sock or a crew sock, but I've seen longer socks, uh, you know, heavier socks, lighter socks. So you'll really wanna ask if you get a request for socks. And next is bandanas. Uh, some people want these you know, to be worn on the head like in this picture. Uh, some people are using them as masks now. So when you have a bandana question, you'll not only wanna get uh, color, but you'll wanna get size and what it's gonna be used for. All right, next we have home products and these grew a lot during the pandemic. I know I posted some cutting boards and kitchen utensils on the Facebook group, so I didn't include them here, even though they are absolutely part of home. The first one is keychains. Um, you can have a keychain in any shape, size, or color. Uh, they can be like the star, or they could be more useful like the carabiner. All right, next is a magnet. Uh, it can be just a magnet with the company's name, logo, phone number or it could be something useful like this. This has measurements on it, or there are those ones where you can highlight where you feel, something more fun. Umbrellas are next. Again, these can have sleeves that go with them that have a logo. They can turn inside out, so there's a couple options here as well. Flashlight is next. It could be a big flashlight like this with a bunch of multi-tools on it, or it could just be a small keychain flashlight as well. Next is blankets. These were so popular that you couldn't really get them around the holidays. They were very hard to get. And the top one is like a picnic blanket. And then the next one is more of like a plush blanket you would use in the house. Next are candles or incense, which are great promo products for people who are, you know, stay home a lot. And they'll be definitely used and definitely kept out. Next is towels. Now, when I searched this in ESP, I definitely did not expect to get this orange cooling towel, but I wanted to put it on there because it does come up if you Google towels. Uh, but what I was thinking was more of like this white beach towel. All right, so now we're gonna do health and wellness. Now, some of these were sold before the pandemic and some of them just grew in popularity during the pandemic. Uh, masks, obviously we did not sell these as an industry before the pandemic, but they are definitely good now for events and things that where people still might have to wear masks, being indoors. Also gators, uh, we sold all mass related paraphernalia. Thermometers, uh, these come in many different shapes, sizes, colors. You can get sometimes printed on the back of thermometer, sometimes printed on the case. 
So those are all things you wanna ask. Sunglasses. Now this is just a plastic pair, but you can also get wire pair, you can get Ray-Bans, you can get name brands. So if you have someone who asks for sunglasses, you'll definitely wanna figure out how much they wanna spend and what type they're looking for. We also have toothbrushes, which are very popular with dentists. Um, you can get the travel kind like this, or you can get a full size. So you'll really want to ask them what they want it for. Something someone will use every day or something they'll use on their travels. Uh, I put exercise band here and you'll notice that I also uh, have coming up a, a Facebook post about more products like this. But anything where people can exercise at home has been huge this year. Exercise bands, yoga mats, all that has been great because people haven't been going to the gym. Sunscreen is next, and this can come uh, as a spray or it can come as a lotion. It can come in a, a little bag like this with a keychain. It could come in a bottle. Uh, so you'll really want to know what they want it for. Do they want someone to be able to take it with them? Then maybe a keychain. Uh, if not, perhaps a big bottle. Next is hand sanitizer, which uh, was huge during the pandemic. But, but again, we sold it before the pandemic. Uh, you can put your logo on the sanitizer itself. You can put your logo on the holder. Uh, you can get it in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. So again, you'll want to ask, you know, do they want the logo on the actual hand sanitizer or do they want a holder? This is lip balm, and this one is the egg-shaped lip balm. Uh, but we also sell in the industry the tube shape, which is more of like a chapstick. There are also holders for chapsticks. So you can pin it on your purse or your badge or anything like that. So you'll want to ask what type of lip balm they're looking for. All right, and lastly, anything that didn't fit into a category, I put in miscellaneous here. So we have awards, everything from fancy awards like this that would be given out at like a nice black tie dinner to trophies that little leagues give out. Uh, promotional products companies also make those awards. Pet items. Uh, there are a ton of pet items because everyone loves their pets. Uh, right here we have a collar, there's also leashes, there's bowls, and my personal favorite, this red one, is a holder for the bags you use to scoop up your pet waste. So, you know, they thought of everything in the pet category. Uh, next is signs. If you think about it, those yard signs that people put on your lawn saying they just did work at your house, that's a promotional product. It's promoting their company. Uh, they were also used for graduations this year to congratulate people. Um, other signs that we produce are like parking signs uh, or like the please wash your hand signs that you hang up, anything that would advertise your company. Displays is another one. Uh, if you're setting up a display at a conference or if you're setting up a display in a store to sell product, Promotional products companies print all those signs and set up all those displays. Cable claws. Now you may be asking why this wasn't in home. The reason is most people who are logoing a tablecloth aren't using it in home. They're using it at a conference or at a business related uh, event. Lanyards is another thing. Now you see these used a lot at conferences to hold name badges, but also you can use them for keys. Some universities give them out to hold keys. Food and drink items. This is huge. Candy, cookies, tea, coffee, hot chocolate. Almost anything you can think of can be a food gift that can be either mailed to people's houses or given in a nice gift basket. And then lastly, here we have sporting goods. Uh, I'm sure you've seen basketballs or baseballs with logos on them before. So I tried to pick some more obscure ones here. Um, you can see these logo golf balls. Uh, there's also lots of go other golf products. I mean, golf caddies that, that cover your clubs, you can put logos on. I mean, towels to wipe off your golf balls and wipe off your golf clubs. Uh, golf's a huge market for promo products. And then this other one is a little fishing lure. All right, so I promised you get to ask questions and you can right now. Uh, you can type them into the question box if you have any questions and I will answer them. Okay, looks like we have one. Someone wants to know what is the name of the phone accessory that we got in our welcome kit? Okay, good question. I did not put that on this uh, PowerPoint because I figured you would have seen it, but it is called a sling grip. 
so it's more of a handle for your phone that you can slide your fingers in. Personally, it's my favorite. That's what I have on my own phone. So any other questions, you can type them into the box. All right. Oh, someone wants to know, what else did I not include in the PowerPoint? Well, there are so many things. Uh, patches are one thing that I had to take out. Um, I took about the cutting boards because I'd already talked about them. Uh, recently, we did an article on products for real estate agents. Uh, one was a beach ball that you can put in a pool for an open house, frisbees. There are just so many things that uh, didn't make it on here, but there are so many products. If you can think of it, it's probably a promo product. All right. Well, that is my last question. So thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, and I'm here anytime if you have questions, internship program at asicentral.com. Thank you, everybody.